how does how do you guys do then like because all right so nfl schedules out you guys now have the over under for season win totals you have the yes no on the playoffs you have lines up for week one and two like how much if, oh year over year so i assume you guys have done week one lines before this early in the year how much do those lines change from now and then and how much liability and how much how much action is going in this early so far on the nfl yeah a lot i mean it's really topical obviously that's why we kind of published a lot of the content that we did yesterday uh, that you see on the site the regular season wins the first two weeks in the schedule uh, last year i believe for the you know all of the teams where we had a footprint uh, we had the entire season price, I think, by the end of May. So we look to expand on what's on there. Uh, huge demand already. Obviously, it's only a fraction of mm -hmm. what we get come game day. Uh, in terms of line moves, obviously, there's so many unknowns, certain specific lines. I think I remember looking back last year and we had a line that moved 10 points oh, from when we set it right now to uh, when it actually came about. So there's lots of opportunity. If you think you've got a good feel for what might, what might happen, uh, Aaron Rodgers, where he might potentially end up in week one or two, then obviously that's going to have a huge impact on the line for the Packers. So, um, yeah, there's lots of opportunity there. People just need to, I guess, invest a bit of time and uh, make their picks and take advantage of our bad work. So here's a question for you. During the draft or the day of the draft when uh, the Rodgers news was breaking and there was news about him potentially going to Denver and Denver was going to make an offer and Denver's odds for the Super Bowl – uh, next year were, were plummeting. I believe they went from like plus 3,600 to plus 600 at some point or 1,600, somewhere around there. Now, is that based on the information that's out there or is it just you guys trying to cover your asses based on how much money's coming in on the Broncos? So, is, Or is it a little bit of both? I think it's a little bit of all of that. I think fundamentally, though, um, you know, I think there's some strong rumors. A, we know Aaron Rodgers is not happy in Green Bay and we've saw you know, the impact of that in terms of the lengthening of the odds of, of the Packers winning the Super Bowl. We've moved them, I think, from 11 to 1 after the Super Bowl all the way to 17 to 1 now. And we think that Denver is by far and away the most likely destination mm. should he decide to leave Green Bay. We were as high as 85 to 1 about the Broncos after Jeez. the Super Bowl back in February, <laughs> and they're already as low as 24 to 1. It's really just about us kind of assessing the probability, the likely odds of what Denver would be and the probability we think he is of going there. So yesterday we put up a market in Colorado, the only state that we're permitted to about what his next team will be. Uh, we made the, the Packers a minus 170 shot with Denver, a clear second favorite, a plus 220. So we think there's somewhere in the realms of a 25% true probability chance that Aaron Rodgers ends up in Denver. I saw you, I actually saw you tweet about that today and I'm glad you brought up the point that that's the only market you're allowed to do that in. How do you guys